the... Is this finished or we do it again? Um, we'll do it again from another angle. But... There's a whole legacy of Bjork videos. I'm, I'm more excited than anything to contribute to her world. Because ultimately, it's Bjork's world that we're creating. Okay, yeah. Maybe attach it first, and then we can. Bjork is so willing and generous with with her, um, just letting us do what we needed to do to achieve this specific vision. Let's move the puppets out. Still rolling. We had to keep her in in this sandbox for for hours, and put her in in a, you know laborious, time-consuming makeup, and you know even making her spit out this you know gooey cake, batter, ketchup mix. So Bjork is incredibly patient and just very enthusiastic. I've really been into puppetry since I was a kid, like Jim Henson and stuff, so I, I really wanted to make uh, a piece that felt practical with CG effects that kind of augmented and we're using physical rocks that we carved uh, out of foam and various other materials to be the live action basis for these effects and to really show the strata merging together and forming the, the mutual core. Visual effects requires a lot of visual planning beforehand. So I definitely storyboard everything out. And that usually dictates the, the, the take, you know, is whether I know I can fit this CG rock here, you know. Uh, so it's definitely a back and forth process. I think there's something special about shooting in her hometown, in a place where there is so much geothermal and volcanic activity. Uh, I think it kind of helps inspire the process. And um, it's just a beautiful place to shoot. Oh.